Ready? I had a good time. We got to see you around. I ain't ready for the cap. YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, TKK, and we are back with another video. I'm actually going to have to make sure that me showing that small little bit of a clip doesn't create any issues for me. Hopefully, you guys are doing good. If you have not subscribed to the gaming channel, it is in the, is in the title of this video. Please consider doing so. I've got to plug that in. It's my gaming channel. It's Street Fighter with TKK. In any event, guys it's wednesday that i'm creating this content okay it's also wednesday that i made the community post asking you guys would do you keep this tv which is a 55 inch g3 from lg by the way this tv looks great it looks much better watching film than it does playing video games not that it looks bad but it just looks better would you keep this for 2500 or would you go to a 77 inch lg g2 for the same cost I am not promoting anywhere you can buy a G2 at 77 inch for the same cost as a 55, but that is an opportunity for me. It is a deal that I have been had put in front of me. Brand new, right? This TV's paid for. Would you keep this or would you say, you know what? Now I'm going to return it and I'm going to go back to a 77 inch G2. We're going to talk about, you know, what the title is of this video. This is pretty much me saying goodbye to the G3. We're going to get it going right after this intro. All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. So first things first, I am actually binge watching this show called Tulsa King. I absolutely love Sylvester Stallone. I just I think he has an amazing career just a few different franchises that I like and ironically today 50 cents he actually um, released a trailer on his Instagram about the Expendables 4 and so I'm pretty excited about that too uh, not to say that the Expendables series is like the best work but Sylvester Stallone has just a lot of titles that you know have a, a series if you will and I'm kind of late on this and uh I'm, I'm enjoying this show i'm up to i mean there's only season one so i've got up to episode seven this this is like the last three days i've been watch, binge watched this so i've had I've, I've been taking this in i actually watch a lot of tv um not all the time but i do actually watch tv uh for the most part you guys will hear me talking about video game uh stuff as it relates to the displays because that's just where i feel like i'm gonna be above the strongest on YouTube with because I know I have the type of background that I have and you know you don't see a lot of professional or ex-professional if you want to call it gamers gaming primarily on TVs um, they've just they've come to a, a large space uh, but when we talk about the G3 um, we need to talk about if I'm getting rid of it why and you know I just you know this is how I shoot my content so it's gonna be vlog style here let me get another angle for you guys. All right, so I'm in the middle of actually getting some work done. Um, you guys know I've redone the game room. I've made content showing you what it looks like now. And it went from pretty much a two player setup to uh, just a singular setup. Well, this is where the other setup's gonna be. Here's my other height case with the 4090. Um, and I'm about to open up my second 45 inch OLED monitor. The first one that I reviewed on the channel a couple of weeks ago, I actually gave to my son, my 22 year old son. Um, he's been needing a monitor for quite some time. And I actually had him in mind when I got that monitor. So while that is not no longer my monitor, here is the new version of it, same thing. But I need to get it opened up so that I can get things set up. Um, anyway, we're in the same room where I just had the G3. Um, and so I'm pretty much with my mind made up that I'm going to say goodbye to the G3. Um, you know, I have to tell you in the space that I am in right now, it is probably the TV that I've purchased in a long time that has given me the least bit of wow factor, honestly. And I mean, less than the S95B. Now, I had some good times with the G3. I've made some great content. Um, if you scroll back 
a couple of weeks ago, there was videos we made where we compared it to the S90C. We didn't get it in front of the S95C because, you know, I wasn't trying to make my setup uncomfortable. I can't put a 77 next to a 55, but we have the A95K next to it also. And so those videos are there for you guys if you want to check them out. Even if you want to check out unboxing of this video of this monitor, you can do that. But the G3 I purchased specifically as a gaming display. Like I didn't buy it for movies. I could care less what it looks like in filmmaker mode and this and that. And so to be honest with you, outside of me turning it on, watching some content as of recent, I never looked at the TV um, outside of playing video games. And that is one of the problems like the one of probably the biggest issue with the tv is just that it 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 doesn't lack great gaming potential it just lacks great visual fidelity in gaming mode and so you know i really believe that they probably focused on toning down gaming mode to make sure that it had all the features that it needs because gaming mode is actually really good the latency isn't too bad and it, it's it's definitely playable um, it's just that it doesn't there's not a lot of wow pop to it that makes you feel like the MLA bright whites really tie in it just they don't it, it, it's just not enough so I would recommend you not get a G3 if you are primarily gaming now it's good enough as a gaming TV we're not even going to pretend like you know I would pick the A95K specifically as a gaming display over the G3 because I wouldn't I, I definitely wouldn't 100% and it's not to say that the A95K isn't good. It's just that the G3 is still a really good gaming display. It's just that in my position, 2,500, 2,600 after tax, whatever, give or take for 55 inch or a G2, 77, come on. So what I'm gonna do, cause now I have my C1 that was 77 came out of this room where you see the 55 G3, okay? The C1 is in my game room. I'm putting the G2 in the game room and the C1 is coming back in here. I'm going to just let the C1 just kind of sit in here and the kids want to turn on the fire stick or something, let them do it. Which, by the way, I am thoroughly enjoying my C1. Um, the Street Fighter matches that are on the channel, and like I said, in the beginning of the intro sequence, if you haven't checked out the gaming channel, do so. Today is Wednesday as I'm recording, but Thursday as you're seeing this. By the time you're seeing this, I have my first rank match set. I got a first to 10 on that channel also. All of that content played on the C1, perfecto. Great TV, and the G3 is better, in my opinion, as a gaming TV than the C1. But again, for the size, cost, it just makes sense for me to say goodbye to this TV. Now, I went to the community, and I asked you guys what your thoughts were, and I've seen some interesting things. I've seen some people say, you know, wait, see what LG's going to do for the game mode. You know, it's like there's not enough groundbreaking functionality to the TV. Also, the fact that the TV doesn't say that it's NVIDIA um, G-Sync certified from Windows is a little bit bothersome to me. Although it does come up on the screen, you know, you see the G-Sync. It's just I'm not sure what happened. now. I don't know if the handshake has changed. A part of me, I got to tell you, deep down told me. You know, this might not be a great year to invest into LG. I think next year is going to be a better year, but I've already invested the money. I used credit, paid credit, got it taken care of. And now I'm looking at this opportunity like, hey, man, I just need to swap so that I can go back in generation, but I can go up in size. And because I'm comfortable with the 77 inch where I'm at, I think the G2 is going to be ultimately a better option for me. What do you guys think? That's what I want to know. Um, you know, I just wanted to make a quick video. We needed to get back to talking about some TV and tech on here um, because, you know, we did dive into the Street Fighter rabbit hole. Make sure you guys subscribe. Check out that channel, man. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers. The quicker I can do that, the quicker I can get that page monetized as we're doing gameplay stuff over there. But you guys can probably check back in a couple of days here where I'm going to be saying goodbye to this G3. Right now it's set up. I'm going to let the kids watch the TV. You know, I might watch some content, some flicks. I'm planning on setting this up for a uh, gaming display. In fact, I think I'll close this video out with just showing you guys an overview of this setup. So we're actually gonna have another transition in two, so I'll be right back. All right, guys, we got this cable management done. Take a look at this. It's the back side. I'm gonna move this table. Yes, yes, y'all. All right, this thing's looking nooo. Nice. Get this all pushed back 
Yeah, running some uh, light benchmarks on Tomb Raider. Nice ultra wide. Yes, very clean setup. Yeah, we got the G3 there running King of Tulsa. Possibly be one of the last times that you see the G3 on my channel. It's been great, but yeah, we're going to get up out of here. I'm going to catch you guys on the next video. Peace, God bless, and as always say, max love.